Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing day that you blessed us with. So many good things are happening every day, Lord. And thank you above all for your word, which is alive, which is active, which is a double-edged sword. Thank you for teaching us new truths every day, which removes our spiritual blindness, which helps us to repent, and not a repentance just from the outside, but a repentance from the inside. As we are approaching the final days, the end of the discipleship, O oh Lord, we take this moment to thank you. What we came and who we are today, it's not the same. And this is only because of your word. Thank you for pouring so much of love into us that every lie, every deception of the devil has been destroyed from our mind, from our bodies. Thank you, Lord, for your presence which goes with each one of us and gives us a rest, a rest on your promises. Thank you for the gift of tongues, a love language to our Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus, for taking our place on that cross. We cover ourselves, all our brothers and sisters watching online, with the most holy and precious blood, anything that is disturbing or distracting our minds and pulling our attention away from this class, we bind it, cast it, command it in the name of Jesus to leave our mind, our bodies and this place and to go and fall into the sea of no return. Thank you, Lord, that you always answer our prayers. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, how many don't pray in tongues here? Everybody prays in tongues. Very good. So, as you know, we stopped on... Yeah, but we'll not stick to that, okay? I'll teach you something that you all will really remember even if you all don't have the points in front of you. Okay, because it's really, really beautiful. It's one among the points, okay? Because I, I don't think we have too much time to complete all. But anyways, even if, you have, even if you have not completed, it's still available on the info channel. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Have you all heard something called Shekinah glory? What is it? One person at a time? Shekinah glory, okay. Anybody else? Okay, in the Old Testament, we know when Moses, he went into the Holy of Holies, when he came out, okay, he had got the laws all written and there was a kind of a shine on his face that the people couldn't see him directly. They had to shield their eyes, correct? And whenever he would come, he would wail. But when he would go back into the Holy of Holies, he would remove the veil, correct? That is the kind of glory that is spoken about in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we see it in Jesus' transfiguration. You, you remember? Even the two who went with him, they couldn't see. They had to shield their eyes, correct? Then Stephen, when he was being stoned, correct? There came a kind of a shine on his face, correct? And that is what happens when you start speaking in tongues. Because all the darkness in your life, wherever the Satan has trapped you, 
kept you in darkness has lied to you deceived you nothing is going to come of your marriage your husband will never change your wife will never change you will never have a child your child will never become perfect your child will not be able to speak your child will remain deaf you will not get a job you are not capable of doing this and that all the darkness dark lies that he has given you when you start praying in tongues and when you keep this imagination in your mind that while i'm praying in tongues it is the release of the shekhina glory of god in that dark area of my life that nobody can now tell you anything else praise god thank you jesus everybody likes to go with that glory have you seen people who are in the word of god there is a different shine on their face they are no longer like the you know the gloomy ones who come with a heavy bag on their shoulders like as if the whole burden of the world is on their have you seen those people you they'll have dark circles they'll have you know almost anything you say they'll start crying maybe or they'll get angry correct but the one who's filled with glory who's been marinated in that light that light has to shine on the face it cannot be hidden can you put a lamp can you put a candle and then hide it so when the light of the gospel has entered into your life can you hide it you are like mm, mm. who do i find who do i find correct every sunday you are going back home what are you doing you are finding people to go and spread that light which you have received correct now when you go back home what will you do lock yourself in a room and say i went to nelladi now i don't want to talk to anybody because life and death is in the power of my tongue these people don't know anything they'll say the wrong thing they'll make me say the wrong thing so i better stay inside the room correct ah then ah see when you answer no heaven is watching what you're going to be doing when you go home when you are quiet it means to say you're also not sure what you're going to do when you go home i may not hear all of your answers but what you are saying somebody is watching you okay so you answer not for me not for anybody but as a witness to him praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus you can read later you can write it down okay because we're short on time so i would if somebody could just help me with the amplified version of hebrews yeah, you got it okay praise god hebrews 1 verse 3 yeah read and read slowly okay you don't get this word shakaina in the kjv version that's why i have selected the amplified version okay what is this okay the sun is the radiance and only expression of the glory of our awesome god reflecting god's shakaina glory the light being the brilliant light of the divine and the exact representation and perfect imprint of his father's essence and upholding and maintaining and propelling all things the entire physical and spiritual universe by his powerful word carrying the universe along to its predetermined goal when he himself and no other had by offering himself on the cross as a sacrifice for sin accomplished purification from sins and established our freedom from guilt he sat down revealing his completed work at the right hand of the majesty on high revealing his divine authority praise god come down so what does it say here 
the sun is the radiance and only only expression there is no body else who represents the father in all perfection that's why the bible says if you know the son you know the father if you reject the son you have rejected the father praise god and then he says only expression of the glory of our awesome god reflecting what god's shekinah glory the light being the brilliant light of the divine exact representation no change in any area what you see the sun it is the father you see his love that is the father's love you see his mercy that is the father's mercy you see his grace that is the father's grace you see his forgiveness that is the father's forgiveness whatever you see in jesus is what the father is they cannot be separated praise god then and the perfect imprint of his father's essence doing what upholding and maintaining and propelling all things any of you is worried whether the sun will come up whether the moon will come in the night what would happen the whole world is made through words correct what is a mountain made up of brother Shh. what is what what is a mountain made up of substance substance ah everybody is saying so i am also saying okay so everything in this world has been created by words what would happen if he just removed that word which had set that sun in that order to rise every morning and set every evening what would happen what would happen if he just removed the word which he set in place for this earth to rotate on its axis you and i will be flying correct yes or no are we flying or are we sitting what he had done at the time of creation so many thousands of years ago a word is it still upholding and maintaining and propelling till today but yet do we doubt our god when it comes to our situations because we think he cannot uphold he cannot maintain he cannot propel anything in our lives we have to work for it correct that is what we think but just imagine he created water at that time are you and i still drinking it isn't that his glory still you and i are eating the fruits food that was created that time you and i are making clothes and wearing clothes different designer names and this and that but where was it all where did it all start at the time of creation and yet we doubt his goodness if he doesn't give me a good job immediately i am so worried i say god doesn't love me but he has given me a roof over my head he's given me food on the table he's given me safety in the country that i'm living isn't that his glory in our life there are so many people who don't have basic meals and here he's saying he is the representation of god perfect representation nothing is mismatch it's not like if jesus is not listening i will go to god now i'll go to father son is not listening no father son daughters everybody if somebody is not listening let me go to the next position correct but what he's saying if you know jesus you know the father and he is the one who has maintained upheld and still propels everything till today nothing missing nothing broken otherwise you and i would be flying praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus okay and how was he doing the upholding maintaining and propelling all things what is that the entire physical and 
and and what are we learning to confess every day what things so who is in control in the spiritual world the holy spirit but do we need to give our consent our willingness until and unless we don't give can he move he is saying he is upholding and maintaining and propelling all things even in the spiritual world so when you are speaking you are speaking the father's language which he understands and what he ha- understands according to his word has to come to pass it will not return without giving you an answer it will not go back void if you are thinking it will go back void that is your unbelief but when something is not given under grace and you are asking for it it's nowhere in the in his uh, grace for you it will not come to pass correct correct brother the new brothers who have joined correct when something god has not given for example you have a desire to become rich very instantly so you decide i am going to rob a bank okay and now you say all the prayers from the white book okay you say psalms 91 and now you go to rob the bank now when you are robbing the bank you get caught so whose mistake ha huh? your mistake why because it's not covered under grace so if you are robbing that is your problem if you get caught but anything under grace it is upheld maintained and propelled in the spiritual as well as the physical world the future preacher is standing everybody's attention is gone there thank you jesus thank you jesus what happened acha okay carrying the universe along to its predetermined goal when he himself and no other had by offering himself on the cross as a sacrifice for sin accomplished what purification from sins and established our freedom from guilt and after accomplishing everything where is he now he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high and where is he right now okay that's one place and he is in us so at the same time we are in two places okay, understanding spiritually we are with him next to the right hand of the father can you imagine where we are but our prayers are like we are beggars not believers correct when a king who has a son especially in the arabian countries it's all kingship right it's all kingship have you seen the children of the king how they behave and have you seen ordinary people who are staying in that country how they behave the rights and privileges are very very different thank you jesus thank you jesus so you can write down in the old testament you can go to exodus 34 29 to 35 okay where it tells about moses's face which shown exodus 34 no need to go there brother exodus 34 29 to 35 In the New Testament transfiguration of Jesus Matthew 17:2 Yeah 17:2 Now in the New Testament when Jesus died on the cross something very significant happened Remember in Moses' time only he could means the high priest could enter the holy of holies correct whether shekhina glory of god was there now in the new testament what happened when jesus said it is finished ah the veil to 
So now is the gospel light available to everybody? Jews, Gentiles, whosoever chooses to believe. Correct? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can write down the Shekinah glory of God. The Shekinah glory of God. Matthew 17 verse 2. That's it. The Shekinah glory of God can't be described in words. Can't be described in words. It is a mystery. No one can grasp it unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. No one can grasp it or nobody can comprehend or understand it unless the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. Have you seen the life of a sinner? It is all in darkness. Correct. But now when he accepts Jesus Christ as his Lord, God and Savior, do you start seeing the Shekinah glory of God transforming this person? Correct. Do you see all the transformation in one go? Is it a process? Does the person have to remain rooted? But is it a born again life now? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. That's why if you see these people, no, they are not worried about their outer appearance too much now. Have you seen? Especially people who have had scars in their life. They were beaten up for something, physical abuse or this or that. But when they experience this glory, now those same scars become stars in their testimony. Correct? Right or wrong? In your life, do you have scars? Do you want the glory of God to shine in those areas? So do you have to get into the word, learn the teachings, start speaking in tongues, start making an imagination of the glory of God, the Shekinah light of God going in that area, destroying the darkness and you coming out victorious. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My question, what is the kingdom of God made up of? No, the one who knows I will not ask. The one who is not putting hand I will ask. Yes, brother. A question, please. Question, please. What is the kingdom of God made up of? Nelson? Love. Okay. Ah? Uh? Faith. Ah. Uh. Sister Catherine? Love. Ah. Uh. Lavina? Mog. She translated the word. Leander, what is the kingdom of God made up of? Simple, no. When there is Christmas and New Year, kingdom of God, no. Eating, drinking, merrymaking. Are? What do you all do for Christmas? Tell me. Some houses turkey, some houses chicken, some houses I don't know what. Correct or no? Biryani and all those things, right? So eating, drinking, merry making. That is the kingdom of God. Sister? Go to church is the kingdom of God. <laughs> Word of God is the kingdom of God. Okay. Brother Conrad? He'll say, I sat near the door still she called out to me. He's ready to run out of the class. Brother Milton? Thank you, Jesus. Romans 14, 17. So what is the kingdom of God made up of? Pay attention. Pay attention to the order. 
okay on the scripture pay attention to the order read for the kingdom of god is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy ghost but when we go for christmas mass cock 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 hmm hmm who is that praise god and what is he saying the kingdom of god is righteousness and then he is saying it is peace and then he is saying it is joy what if a person has peace and joy but doesn't believe or accept that he is righteous would that peace and joy last for long why hmm okay yes princeton if you have peace and joy but you don't believe in righteousness will that peace and joy stay with you for long why doubt what okay brother don what is the question ah uh, he's going inside the chair <laughs> praise god from here nasi ah uh, what is the question what is this this is something new you learn now i also forgot the question what is the question <laughs> ah if you have peace and joy but no righteousness you don't believe is the peace and joy going to work for you why give me what i'm looking for come on hmm kus pus kus pus kus pus i cannot hear anything and then and then ah we have to have the ah if we don't have the very nature of god is there a tendency that the devil can come and condemn you and tell you you know in your past life what you did you were like this you were like that how many people's life you made miserable correct and if he keeps putting you in condemnation where will the peace and joy go so what is very important first to accept that you are righteous how ah in christ jesus because he is the perfect representation of the father who is maintaining upholding propelling things in the spiritual and the physical world even to this day correct thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus so when you speak in tongues what happens everything that is in darkness because of not knowing that the very nature of god is inside of you no matter what you did i remember a testimony of a person who was in a band okay he used to play for a band and he had this habit of taking drugs okay but he had such a love and desire for god okay that every day on his journey back he would read the bible but now to stay awake to read that bible he had to take the drugs okay but he didn't stop as he kept reading every day every day every day every day every day there came a time when that habit only left him are you understanding the more you soak yourself in the word of god you will understand and act that you are the righteousness of god i cannot overcome my weakness i cannot do it on my own strength but the more and more i change my mind i renew my mind now my mind starts thinking like how god's mind is thinking are you understanding 
and then he went on to leave that life of the band and now then he was working in the ministry preaching the gospel anybody here with an addiction of any kind maybe seen or unseen you pray in tongues and you keep in mind thank you jesus that i am the righteousness of god in christ jesus that's it that addiction whatever it may be has to leave do you understand because when we pray in tongues we don't keep the mind blank if you keep the mind blank you're a noisy vessel only making noise you have to have a scripture you have to have a teaching you have to have something related to the word of god in your mind while praying in tongues thank you jesus thank you jesus is this something you will remember yes. praise god thank you jesus so it's okay that i don't go in order praise god just write down shakena glory shakena glory is a visible manifestation is a visible manifestation of god of god on earth on earth whose presence whose presence is portrayed portrayed through a natural occurrence through a natural occurrence example the sun the moon the stars all of god's creation so are we experiencing this glory every day through a natural occurrence the last part okay shekina glory is a visible manifestation of god is a visible manifestation of god on earth whose presence is portrayed through a natural occurrence so in order to experience this glory do i have to chase the glory why but i have to do something no what is it Matthew 6:33 Seek God, seek his kingdom principles, whatever you want, the glory, everything will be added unto you. Hmm. Who had a question? Hmm. Are You know what the YouTube people will think I'm shaking my head simply. Holy Spirit. Are Hold it for her. Hold it for her. Hold it for her. Holy Spirit goes to heaven or Holy Spirit goes to heaven. Jesus said I will send you the comforter. So where is the comforter? Ah. Ah. He speaks the language of the Father. Holy Spirit. Yes, you just concentrate on the scripture that you're speaking, the confession, the declaration. That's it. Don't worry about Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will do his work. He's inside of you. Mm. She said that you know, One of the benefits is we have access to the throne room. Correct. Okay. So she wants to know when she speaks in tongues whether her spirit goes, you know, to the throne room. Basically, See, when leaves. we are when we are speaking in tongues, we are already speaking the spirit language, Holy Spirit language. Okay. You cannot understand it, but the Father can understand because the Holy Spirit is making intercessions according to what the Father is giving that's why it says no in acts 2 verse 4 
it is the holy spirit who gives us utterance physically you are present on earth but spiritually you are seated already at the right hand with jesus and also the holy spirit who is with jesus and the father is making intercessions on your behalf you don't need to see where you are going don't focus on that you are already speaking in the spirit you are not speaking the language known to any man correct you are already connected in the spirit that's why it's called the language of love which the father understands nobody else around you will understand thank you jesus papa